my brothers, my sisters, listen, listen. I awoke into a vision, made an incision from the realm of non-locality and slipped from reality to sub-reality and began what's called living. Life is eternal. Living is what life does. We're given birth on this earth from a place of silence, peace and love. Origins from above with feet planted firmly. Divine fractal souls in human form on a spiritual journey. Each one of us is learning. Each one of us is a teacher. Each one of us is both congregation and preacher. Each one of us is united by our separation. That which divides us is that which binds us. Compassion and acceptance brings a joy beyond explanation. Fascination with such things growing up brought frustration. Frustration upon frustration, it's like ignorance is an obligation. As if lies are mandatory and insanity is sanity. Those at the top seemingly only concerned with being sanitary, as in, they wash their hands of it all, declare themselves not responsible. Our history is not factual. Who we are is a mystery. Lies hidden in plain sight with ungodly wizardry. Check it out. The Baalbek stones, skull and bones, quantum occasionalism and aesthetic fractality, global warming fallacies, bohemian grove gatherings, moon anomalies, the sacred science of actual factual astrology, the engineering of society through Freudian psychology, the age of the sphinx and the inevitability of the poles shifting. Why the hell aren't we taught this in our school systems? Why isn't this front page of the paper or headline in the news? When your choices are between the lesser of evils, which do you choose? How is it freedom when they tell us what freedom is? How is it freedom when the government raises our kids, educating them to be docile cogs in the machine doing lifetime bids, early age kidnapping, think of all the minds they stole. Children spend their so-called free time playing COD on video game consoles as they con souls into relinquishing control, raising up super soldiers with no souls. Sent to wars with no apparent goals, just a sir, yes sir, body bagged, toe tagged and chalked up as another casualty of the military death toll. And who is it they send away like lambs to the slaughter but our own sons and daughters? Told we have no choice but to fight for our freedom. Think about that for a bit. No choice? No choice but to fight for our freedom? That's bullsh. Children are listening. And we've got to stay positive and make real changes so that I don't have to grow up in this system. I mean, kids are told this is how it is and this is how to survive. Why don't we ask them instead how they want to live and use that as a guide? Use that as a blueprint and then unify because you know the word unity begins with you and I then maybe our children can be proud of us in the world we've created. Matakie Oyasin. We are all related. Unity.